Okay guys, as you guys may or may not know, I have stretched here as Star Bay Finance currently. They're at an A cage. And they're very, very tiny. I think it's actually not as big as it looks like right here. Let's see if I can get it close enough if you can see that. It's actually not nearly as big as it looks right there. Because this is a, um, it's just, this is a single flare. This one's a double flare. I had to make this one uh, over here a single flare because I lost the backup. I was playing with an English class with my English teacher, and I took it out. So, this is the actual gauge part right here. Not this piece, this is the flare. And, um, what I have in my hand right here, along with it, is an O ring. O rings are commonly used for, um, single flare, um, or no flare. Plugs or um, even tapers or um, pinchers. Pinchers are those little half crescent thingies, kind of like that. Um, as you guys probably seen my videos, I've stretched my ears. Um, I've probably been at a gauge for maybe a month, I think, I guess. So uh, I don't know, roughly a month. So I'm going to be ordering a um, thing off of Amazon. Where it comes with all price from 14 to a zero gauge. It's a good price, um, so that's why I'm ordering. Even though I'm not going all the way to zero, I might have that. I don't think I am. Um, yeah. This is the ring. It's light brown, translucent brown, I guess. Kind of thick. And if I take it out, I'll just keep it in my mouth, so I don't lose it. I don't recommend doing that without cleaning at first, but uh, since my ears are healthy and fully healed, um, I'm not even really worried about cleaning it. So, um, these are um, stainless steel, which is what I recommend you stretch with. I know I've stretched with, um, I've stretched with, um, acrylic. I know that's not good. Especially considering I went from a normal ear piercing to a, um, 10 gauge, I think, or an 8 gauge, I'm not really sure, I can't remember how fast I went to make it in a matter of days. Right here I have a 14 gauge, um, horseshoe hook ring over there. That's what I call it, and, um, I'm going to be using it for my nose. I'm going to be able to flip it up in my nose, in my nose. Got this off of Amazon for the balls. So that's a 14 gauge, I believe, or it might be a 10, or not 10, but a um, 12, because the size seems pretty big. And um, the reason I say it seems pretty big is because I can't get the piercing needle go on the back, and this is a 14 gauge needle. So you can either ice shoot yours, which I don't recommend doing um before you stretch yours i just recommend getting some lubrication jelly which you can get off of websites or um i got mine with my kit um for this is for my septum this is, this is what all the wine came with it came in that piercing kit and it was nice I've opened one up. Here's one I've opened up. Just open it today. Nice and lifted. Whatever. It's nice. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to tell you the size difference between um, each one each size. The standard um, piercing gauge would be a 20 gauge, which would be what you got your ears pierced with. Um, and that is 0.8 to 1.2 millimeters. 18 gauge, which is um, for your, common for your nose. Also, 20 gauge is common for your uh, nostril as well. Would be a, would be 1.024 millimeters. 
16 gauge is 1.291 millimeters. And that's approximately just um, under 1 16th of an inch. Um, 14 gauge, which is what I just showed you, was uh, is approximately a 16th of an inch. Um, millimeters wise, it is 2.053. 10 is, um, okay, 2.588 uh, millimeters. 8 is approximately an eighth of an inch, which is what I'm at now, and it is. 3.264 uh, millimeters. 6, which is what I'm going to be going to next, would be 4.115 millimeters. Um, 4 is Point one eight one eight nine. Alright. Um two is six point five four four millimeters. Um zero is um eight point two five one millimeters. And the last size I'm going to be telling you is double zero, which is approximately three eighths of an inch. Um, and it's nine point two two uh, two nine point two six six millimeters. And you can go all the way up to really really big sizes. So um if you've seen those two look up your shoulder ones though it's kind of scary. The biggest I'm probably going to be going up to is a two. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to be teaching you how to, uh, take care of them. I'm going to briefly explain how to do it. Um, but, um, I'll be able to show you when I get my papers in the mail in my oil. So what you're going to do is you're going to take out your earring in the shower. If it's big enough to fit around your finger, it's really nice if you have a, um, hollow one. Two. It's nice. But if you don't, just hold it either somewhere where you can not lose it because I can go down a little drain now easily. Um, especially if you're at a 14 gauge. The o rings are so, 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 so tight. Then you're going to take a little bit of your condition, or, um, so, and just rub in it. Rub your ear hole, clean the jewelry. Stick the earring back in. You're going to do that twice a day. Once when you're in the shower, um, or you don't have to do it, but, uh, it's easier. And then you do it once when you get out, um, once when you're out in the shower throughout the day. Just do the same thing, same type of style of your fingers. But, um, not a safety service prefer. It's just a lot, a lot, a lot sicker that way. That's what I am going to say. Um, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much all the information I can teach you right now without like actually showing you anything. Wow, the thing just goes up. There we go. Bye guys, I hope this video proved helpful to you and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.